Hi guys, welcome back to talking about all things Big Bottle. Now, I am not talking about all things Big Bottle because, of course, Big Bottle's on. But today, I will be talking about the most boring head of households. Head of households, aka HOH. The most boring head of households ever. So there's actually going to be five. And there is some couple ones I'm going to probably leave out. But, whatever. Coming at number five, I got Nicole Franzel from season 18. Well, oh, did she win anything from 22? No. Nicole Franzel from season 18. So, Nicole had played on three seasons before. She had been on Big Bottle. 252 I think it's 200 anyway she is the number one nobody can't wait be her if you want to be her you have to come back to what the second place is Chanel but whatever Nicole friends are from season 18 the week that they when Michelle went home she won half household she was the most Boring half household ever. Of course, there's a couple more with boring. But I honestly just don't like Tall and Corey, her boyfriend in the house at the time, to sit around and uh, in her half household. And it was like the most boring half household ever. It was. Um, so. Coming out of four, I got Crip. Now Crip, he's he was okay. Him had a power sold, not good. So Crip won. He came back from a battle back competition. He won. He had a power sold. Kind of like Cameron, he won the battle back competition. He won. He had a power sold. But Crip, now this was season twenty one, and all season twenty one did that. Mitty, Chad, and they kind of troll him head of household. Tell him, like, you need to put up Isabella, you need to be, because if he did not, Christy would use her power. But I think that time he's like, you know what? Safety, that's fine. Let me just put up Isabella. So he was kind of boring when he had a household because. You just thought all these are players. Now, I, I did like how he uh, played the game a little, just a little bit. Um, I liked he played with Nicole Anthony, Jessica, and Kathleen. I wish one of them won. But I just did not like him half hours a week. I don't know if it's because of the cash that they picked that season. It was just not good. So, coming at number three, I thought... Now, this is hard. I thought Jackson Nitty. Now, all Jackson's half hours old. Every one of them was just like the weirdest, boring head of household ever. It was so boring because, of course, they have their stupid six rotors, the whatever the lines are, Scott ING. For dark what was that online lines of God. Whatever. He was my the most, the most rude person, but also a a bad head of household. I honestly don't really know how many he he, he got, but he was just kind of boring to 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 He was just my sure ain't boring when him head of household. And head of household was boring. And it was just kind of, we always know what he was going to do. It was Holly Jackson one, and then the um, Prank Story, Holly one, Jackson one. So it's basically like Jackson and Holly wake up to wake up to week. And I'll just put both of them on here together. Jackson and Holly was rude. I mean, not rude. Born half household. When um, Jackson one half household, I think when it came down, 
because the end game, he was rude to Harley. And Harley got mad. And it's just like, dude, why the heck are you still on the show? I'm surprised they even on the show. So, he was born. Harley was not. It was just kind of bad that there is to that. Coming at number two, I got Felicia. Now, Felicia, this past season. Now, Felicia, this was week three. Tyson was out that door that one. But she was not really her head of household. It was basically so weird and easy. So we didn't easily basically tell her what to do. I'm sorry. If I was in the house with him, I'm like, no, no. Let me play my, let me play my game, but also let me have my half household. Because if you want to do your half household, win a competition. But I won that competition. So let me kind of pick who I want to put on the block. So. They want Tyson to the home. So, of course, she got Izzy and Saweet. I always put a Tyson in. I forgot who else. So, and the week, Tyson went home on Felicia's head of household. Now, Tyson felt like he was safe. He was celebrating with them. And the week, he was out there gone. And I, not, I'm not a fan of Tyson, but it's just like, the both on a boring head of household because with Saweet, with Izzy, and with Jared, it was just kind of a waste of her household. I always knew what there was, she was on, what they were gonna do is to make her, make her, they wanted to want her half household, so. Yeah. Coming at number one, I thought the most Bowling head of household ever is Bowie Jane. Bowie Jane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This week Bowie won't have household. And she said on the show, oh, I didn't want to win half household, but I actually didn't want to win half household. And the whole week. So Matt and Chad did come up this plan saying come up with a plan um, to get Cameron out the door but when he when she was talking to Matt and Chad she was saying no I want the only side to the home man that's so weird at Felicia so they're all kind of like wait why but the whole week of her head of household was born in her nomination speech at the nomination you put up on the bot, whatever. She said, when she put up the two nominees, for we said, so wait, she told Corey, blaming on Corey, and she said, oh, just kidding. What are you doing? First of all, why are you in this game anyway? You can't, besides this head of household, you haven't won anything. But she's like the most on boring head of household and it is. She's also a born player to watch. So, there is my top five least favorite born half household. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Nice to do. Bye.